Hey guys, Merry Christmas. So I thought I'd just come to you today on Christmas day with a fun little Christmas tag. It's called the Holly Jolly YouTube Christmas tag. Um, I gotta say some of the questions are making me emotive. So I wouldn't really say it's that jolly, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. My favorite Christmas movie. Uh, it would have to be, I think, it's Home Alone. It's just so funny and it really does make me feel Christmassy. Are you on the naughty or the nice list? I'd like to think that I'm on the nice list. I try to be a better version of myself every day. I know that sounds cheesy as hell, but there are some things that I have done um, unknowingly that are bad. Um, whether I have intended to do them or not is a completely different matter again, but I would try and say the nice list because I always strive to be nice and kind to everyone. Show us an embarrassing Christmas photo. Well, if I can find one, I'll insert it somewhere. Have you ever had a white Christmas? Yes, I've had absolutely plenty because I used to live on a farm in Scotland um, for eight years and it snowed pretty much every winter. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until last minute? Uh, neither, I've already started mine and I've got the majority of it done. Granted, Black Friday is really, really helpful to get those extra bits that you want and save a few pennies at the same time. And then I also probably do some last minute stuff too. So all three really. If you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? I don't really know. I, I don't think I know that many Christmas movies. So I'm probably going to stick with um, Home Alone just because... I would love to have been able to do something that mischievous when I was little. Name all of Santa's reindeers. Okay, so Rudolph, Comet, Dancer, Prancer, Donna, Vixen. I think I can six, but I know there's eight. Rudolph. Comet, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen. I've just said I missed one again. I don't know. The six I said previously. Um, when does your family put up the Christmas tree and who decorates it? Well, I like, well, I'm, I'm a single parent family, so it's just me and Holly. So I like to put my Christmas tree up on the 1st of December and obviously I decorate it. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? I have had a fake one when I first moved into this property, um, just because I moved in on the 19th of December and I didn't see the point in getting a real Christmas tree that late on in December. Um, but I have bought a real one last year and I intend to buy a real one this year. Um, when we lived in Scotland, um, me and my mum, my dad and my brother, we always had a real Christmas tree just because I love the smell. It just smells so Christmassy to me. It's absolutely stunning. Peeking at gifts or keeping it a surprise. I've done both. Um, I'm not very good with surprises um, or maybe I'm not very good at opening gifts in front of people, especially if they are gifts that that person has bought me because I always feel like my reaction sucks. Um, even if I'm very, very grateful for the gift and I absolutely love it, I just don't think that I give off that impression. So I, I much prefer to sort of like open my gifts in private so um, to try and avoid that sometimes, I do take a peek sometimes if I can. Show us your ugly Christmas sweater if you have one. Um, it's in the wash at the moment. It's just a grey one with two little penguins with some love hearts and a scarf. It's nothing special at all. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Now, this is really easy for me to answer. There is this guy 
and he is absolutely amazing. I won't name his name because that's not fair. Um, I don't think he's very interested in being in any of my YouTube videos, but him, him, that's all I would want. Uh, yeah, that would be really, really nice this Christmas if that did happen. Um, does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? Yes. Um, my mum didn't ever really like fireworks. Um, so you, she used to stay in on bonfire night and start the Christmas cake. And I think it was last year or the year before we made Christmas cakes together. And that was like the first and the last time that we got to do that before she passed away. So what with everything that's gone on this year, I would have loved to have been able to have made mum's Christmas cake, but I just didn't have it in me. I really didn't. And um, it's kind of like when you are a single parent family, even though like I've obviously got friends to go to and stuff like that, um, it's just me and Holly. So the need of baking a cake becomes, it, it, it's not a need, it's more of a want. And I don't want to do it this year. It's just, it's not, no. I want to do it next year, definitely, but not this year, no. Um, are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? Uh, somewhere in the middle. I wouldn't say I'm a pro. I'm better than some people that I've seen, but, um, yeah, I don't fail miserably at it. I used to when I was a lot younger, but obviously I've had many years of wrapping now, so yeah. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? No, I've never gone Christmas caroling. Um, I don't really get it. I think it's something you do when you sort of like a church organization or something like that. I'm not sure if people are supposed to give you money. Um, I've never really had any Christmas carolers either. Actually, yeah, I have a few times, but only children just asking for a couple of quid, aren't they really? But no, it's not something that I've ever done. I probably won't either. What tops your tree? Normally a star, but um, my mum wanted, um, in her last few years, she wanted to buy a fairy, but she could never find one that she liked. So I'm going to like make it my mission this year to try and get a fairy and put it on the top of my tree in um, love and memory of my mum. Do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? Um, yes, I do make New Year's resolutions. I didn't make one for this year. Um, again, I think there was just far too much going on at the time um, for me to focus on anything like that other than like general day-to-day -day survival. Um, but the last New Year's resolutions that I can remember making, I made one to take more photos and upload them. And that's what I did for the full year. I stuck to it. And another one, another year was to read a book because I really struggle with my reading sometimes. It's just not something that I enjoy to do. Um, so I forced myself to read a book. Granted, the book was probably aimed at about a 14 or a 15 year old teenager, but I read it nonetheless and I did manage to feed it, finish it a few months before the following December. So that was good. Um, but any other New Year's resolutions, I don't make like, I don't like making New Year's resolutions like, oh, I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna do this, like, things like that because they're just like really generic you need to do something a little bit outside the box something that's gonna like um really benefit you obviously losing weight is gonna benefit you if you need to lose weight like but um yeah I everybody I think those are like cop out new year's resolutions everybody does those so yeah <clears throat> You have been granted one Christmas wish. What will it be? My Christmas wish would be to bring my mum back down from heaven. Um, just so I could see her again, hug her, give her a kiss, tell her I love her. Um, even if it was for like five minutes or five years, I just, the time scale that I had with her wouldn't matter as long as I could be able to do that again. So that would be my Christmas wish. So yeah, guys, I hope you've all had a lovely day with your family. Really do get to know your parents because you don't know how much you will miss them when they're gone. Spend amazing time with your family. 
and really have a good day and make lots of memories so you can look back on in years to come and smile and laugh and joke. Um, I wish you all the best Christmas day and a happy new year. Bye guys.